Hi, my name is Ali Shesova, and in this video we're going to talk about what is an EMC current clamp and how we use it to estimate our radiated emissions without having to go to an EMC test chamber. So, um, a current clamp is perhaps one of the most versatile debugging tools that we use. Uh, it looks something like this. Uh, this is the type that we use in our in our workshops, um, and it is used for measuring current. But in particular, it is used; it can be used to measure the emissions. Uh, so we're going to talk about how we how it actually does that. Uh, so if you imagine, um, here you have got a core. There is some winding. There is usually a connector, and that goes to your spectrum analyzer. You pass the cable of your device under test, like so through the current clamp and then that goes to the spectrum analyzer. So whatever current is going through there, we're going to talk about it later, it gets picked up by, by the clamp and, and then you can measure it. So if you look at what's happening then, you have got the cable, that is you put in through the current clamp. The current clamp has got a pickup coil which looks like this. And then this part is going to go to, to the spectrum analyzer which has got 50 ohms and then you are pretty much sitting here and you're looking at it this way and you will see the voltage that is appearing across this and then that can be related to the emissions that the antenna is going to pick up in the test chamber. So imagine that you have got uh, two cables uh, and uh, one of them current is going in and on the other one the current is coming back out. Right, so let's, this will be differential current, differential mode current, that is going to your device on the test. And uh, you put the clamp around these two cables here, and then that goes to the spectrum analyzer. Consider the currents. If we had a perfect cable with beautiful 100% coupling and absolutely no leakage, then all the current that went that way would cancel all the currents that were coming this way, and therefore there would be no field. So you could not pick anything up. If you wanted to measure just the differential mode cover, all the current going in, you, had to, you, would have, you would have had to put the current on only one cable. But if you put it on both of the cables, then effectively all the current is going to cancel apart from the bit that is going to leak because we don't have perfect coupling and we don't have a really tight uh, the, uh, zero area between the two cables uh, and whatever does not cancel is the bit that is going to radiate and that is why this current clamp can uh, estimate the radiated emissions which is going to be what the antenna picks up in the in the test chamber this is for a two wire system if you if you uh, consider a three wire system whereby you have got a protective earth which is tied to the chassis, then what you have is differential mode current is going this way and is returning that way. The part that cancels does not get picked up. The part that is not going to cancel is the bit that will get picked up. Uh, and then you've got common mode current, which is going this way and returning via the chassis and this way and going to return via the chassis. So you've got a current that is going to loop there and come back that way and there and come back that way. Again, whatever cancels does not get picked up. The bit that does not get cancelled of course is the bit that is going to radiate and that is the bit that is going to get picked up. So we have picked up the rate, the, what the, the current that, 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 that is not cancelling uh, and then we still have to estimate what the antenna is going to pick up. And there are several equations. This is the one that is used very, very commonly. Right? You have got one constant. This is your common mode current or the, the current that is, going, that is not cancelling basically off the cable. That is your frequency. That is the length of the cable that is powering, well, the cable that you're measuring. So, so, so if that is your, for example, power cable and the clamp is here, that is the length of this cable. Um, and then this is the distance that uh, your antenna is in the, in the test chamber. And this equation that gives you the field that is going to be appearing on the antenna uh, in volts per meter. So what we have here therefore is 
you have a constant, you know this one. The current you're measuring with the current clamp, uh, we know this one. We're gonna make another video which, uh, which is going to talk about how you take the measurement out of the current clamp and actually convert it into amps or microamps. Then you've got the frequency that you're picking up. For example, 40 megahertz is, is you, you pick up some current. Then here you've got the length of the cable that you're measuring. So let's say from there to there is one meter, two meter. And then this is the distance of the antenna typically let's say three meters or 10 meters, right? So you know this one, you know this one, you know this one, you know this one, you know this one. You can calculate or estimate the field in volts per meter. Okay, um, this setup is now um, uh, for um, measuring a two-wire system. We're gonna show that in a lab in a moment. Uh, for the two-wire system, uh, you, you, the power is coming through the listen. Uh, you uh, must put it your 50 ohm terminator on your listen, uh, and then you clamp the current here, and you measure it. And if you have a three-wire system, of course, then you have your chassis, the third wire, and again, the clamp goes through uh, across all three cables. Um, so uh, let us now go to the lab and let us show you the uh, measurement setup. So um, here we have got the uh, measurement uh, setup. Um, I've got my listen. I'm actually just using listen to have a known impedance and to stop any noise from my power supply to get into my device under test. This is just a flyback converter. This is a type of thing that we use uh, in, the, in the workshop. And at the moment, I'm just saying that it's a two wire system. Um, and uh, in order to measure, estimate the radiated emissions, I clamp my clamp across the two cables. And then the uh, spectrum analyzer goes to the back, right? Now, if I have a three wire system whereby I have got a uh, chassis, then of course the back of the listen is connected to the, to the ground plane. Um, then you have your protective earth cable, and that will go, let's say, to the enclosure. Your product will be inside of the enclosure. And that is how you make the measurement. This is, of course, for pre-compliance uh, test setup, and we've got a ground plane down here, and the back of the listener is connected to it. Um, so let us uh, have a quick look at the type of uh, measurement that we do. I'm gonna take this off, and I'm gonna take this off. Then I'm going to power up my power supply. It is powered up, and now I'm gonna close my clamp. And you can now see the spectrum that is being emitted uh, and the current clamp is picking it up. You see there's no power, uh, power. And you can clearly see that it's picking up around here. Um, and of course, uh, you can then zoom in, look at each frequency, each harmonic, that will give you an amplitude that uh, the uh, uh, spectrum analyzer are picking up, and then you convert that into um, what current, how much current it is, and we've got another video which will show you exactly how to do that. So um, thank you very much for watching, and I hope that we see you in one of our workshops.